Well, thank you so much, guys. Israel, thank you for coming down to my level. Um, talk to me about these face-offs with Sean. You got, he's been doing a lot of talking, but then when it comes to the face-offs, he's almost disengaged from them. Um, I think it's a tactic on his end to remove himself from the moment, which I think is, I guess, smart, but I don't think he means to do it. It's just his natural instinct. He wants to disengage because he didn't want to film me, but it's okay. Tomorrow he's going to, well, no. Day after tomorrow, he's going to film me for real. And I don't mind, like, all the armchair experts calm down. It's just between me and him. And, yeah, I know what it is. He knows what it is. Even backstage, things are different. But you'll see. You've talked a lot this week about practicing patience and discipline, not just in the fight itself, but in the lead-up to the fight as well. How much has that given you mental clarity and peace as well as you prepare for this? Patience is a virtue. And even with meditation, I use that to learn how to focus because you're, you're, you're focused on one singular thing, your breath, and then your mind might waver for two minutes when you first start doing it. And over time, it might try and waver for even like three seconds and you're up back to what you're doing because you learn how to focus. Because in there, 30 minutes of pure focus, that's all you need. But I will not need 30 minutes come Sunday. How do you see this fight going? It seems like you have such a clear vision for it my way this is going my way and i'm very i'm blessed man i'm honestly every time i step in there doing all these things it's not it's not as mundane anymore because i have a great team behind me we'll cut out all the bullshit but it's just i i don't like i said my last few ones i have probably 20 now probably 19. i'm soaking this up and one day me and my you know partners or whatever will be able to watch this my kids will be able to watch this and just like this is a legacy, man. And my team, like all of us, look around. I, before I walked out, I was like, these are our moments, boys. These are our days. We've got greater days ahead, even after fighting. But right now, soak these moments up. So, <sighs> goosebumps right now. For me, I'm feeling, because I know what this means to me and to us. You're absolutely spot on with the assessment of these are the moments, but this is, like you said, a moment for your entire team. When you watch them fight, when you know that they're all competing before you, what are your emotions as you know how important it is for them, but you're also balancing how important the night, or shall I say morning, is going to be for you? I have to focus on a task at hand. We're a team, and we're going to do well, win or lose, but I have to focus on my task at hand because you can't, we've done this for years, even in kickboxing, back in the day, you'll have eight of us on, the, on, a, on a local card or on a, maybe just across town or whatever. And some might win, some might lose, but I never let it waver, you know, it's like hard luck, bro, don't worry, you get them next time, but sincerely, and then we, we go again. All right, I'd be remiss to ask you, they're telling me to wrap up, but I have to say the grappling, I know you put in work with Craig Jones, you did the open workout, you were hitting some submissions and you said that could happen. Will we see some from you? We'll see. All right. We will see you Sunday morning here in Australia. Israel, thank you for your time. Good luck. Have fun. I have no doubt you'll enjoy yourself. Thank you. Guys.